Hey guys, um, this is Chris here for Frosted Productions, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on modeling a lightsaber in Cheetah 3D. Now, if you follow um, Apple Soldiers video uh, videos, or it could be on uh, his other account, Apple Shaker, I don't remember, but if you follow his videos, you'll know that he modeled a lightsaber in um, Moto, and I it can also be done in Cheetah 3D, so I'd also, I figured I'd also do a tutorial on how to do that. Um, but you should go check out his videos. They're, some of his tutorials are really good. So let's get started. When you get all done, it's going to look something like this. So right, I'm just going to close this out. And here we have a blank canvas. Now, it's going to be kind of difficult to uh, model this lightsaber um, just just by like looking at a picture and then doing it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, put like a template in. And I don't know of a way to easily do this in Cheetah 3D. If there's an easier way than what I'm about to show you, then uh, let me know. But this is the way I usually do it. Um, make a plane and grab this tool. Go to the uh, front view. And you want to rotate it so it's facing you. So let's see here. There we go. Oops. All right. Now it's facing me here. We'll just we'll leave it about like this. Go to uh, now go down to add material. Choose um material, and you need to create a texture with the image that you want to use as a template. So go to load. Um, choose the image that you want to use for. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll include a link to where you can get this image. So I'm gonna use whoops. I'm gonna use this. Click open, and it's gonna create a uh, material with that image on it. Drag it onto your plane here, and you'll see you'll have. It's a little picture of like a lightsaber. So let me just rotate it the way it needs to be. Um, there we go. And we're just gonna want to scale this up to where it's gonna look about how it needs to be. Uh, something about like that should be good. Maybe a little bit bigger here. That looks pretty good. All right, so we'll start with this. Um, up here, you can see the, uh, the circle, how big it needs to be, but I'm just gonna do it a little bit differently. All right, so what you want, you want, yeah, what you want to do is create a cylinder, um, shrink it down to about here, and then whoops, move it over and up to right about there. Now you, you're gonna have to make it. Uh, you have to make it smaller to be the size of that. Make sure it's in the middle too of the uh, plane. All right, to make it smaller, I'm not sure how to do this easier, but what I like to do is um, activate the tool by just pulling it on the red or the green, and then do Command Z to undo it, and then use the middle one. Because if you use the middle one first to scale it evenly, for some reason it doesn't work. It'll do something weird, so you have to like activate it by using one of the other ones. So uh, just scale it down here until you get it to the uh, right size, right about, that looks pretty good, I think that's going to be okay. Alright, when, once you get it to about the right size, just uh, take this, uh, double click on it to make it editable. You want to go in underneath it here, and just select the bottom, I think I got it all, yep. Um, you can right click and do an extrude, bring it down to uh, about there. And then, just get it a little tighter. Get it to right about there. And then for the next part, you're gonna see how we're gonna have to bring it in. So bring it down again to that next line. And then what you wanna do is grab this tool and scale in, uh, use the red for a second to activate it. And then grab the middle here and scale, in, uh, scale it in evenly. Sorry, it's kind of difficult sometimes. Until you see that it's on the line, you'll see it worked. And then uh, do an extrude again, bring it down. And this whole process is just going to go down for like the entire thing. Extrude it down again. Grab your tool here. Scale it out a little bit to activate it. And pull it out again. And then extrude it down again. So you pretty much understand how to do this. This is pretty much how it's going to work for almost the entire thing. But when you get down to... Uh, I think mine's a little... Well, it doesn't have to be perfect, anyway. But when you get down to, uh, like right here, see how it gets smaller? 
it's going to look funny if you just scale it in. So there's a bunch of ways you can do this, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you a simple way. So, I mean, there's, there's a bunch of different ways you can do it, but scale it or extrude it down so that you're just above the line. Then scale it down again, and you'll see you'll get two edges right next to each other. Bring it all the way down here until you're just above the line. And then, I was too close there. Until you're right about there. And then bring it down again until you're on the line. There you go. Now for this part, what you need to do is go into edge mode by clicking here. Go to selection. I think I think it's a loop select you got to do. Um, select that. Yep. And then hold down shift and select that. Grab your tool here. Scale it in a little bit to activate it. Undo it. And then scale it in again. And you want to get it so it's about right there. Then uh, you want to do another loop select on this top one here. Whoops, wrong one. And then uh, you want to bring that edge up so it's where it needs to be. So right about there. And then you want to, uh, let's see here, selection, loop select. And bring this edge down too so it's down to where it needs to be. And uh, like I said before, I don't even know if I'm doing this like the correct way. I mean, I just model it sort of like a hobby thing. I'm just showing you guys how I did it. So, you know, if this isn't the correct way, feel free to explain how you like do it correctly or whatever. But all right, uh, do another extrude, bring it down the line. And this doesn't have to be perfect because you can always go back later and, uh, you know, fix it up a little bit and make it nicer. Bring it down and then you got to bring it in again. There you go, right about there. And you'll see here we have it scales out again. So uh, actually what I'm going to do is I need to uh, do an extrude like I showed you before. Bring it just above the line here. Bring it right there. And then uh, for this part, what we need to do is we need to go to selection, loop select, 